As promised, my friends, we are going to be talking about Comet 73P Schwassmann Walkman 3, or SW3, as many of you have been hearing about it on the internet nonstop because of what this thing may produce in the form of an amazing meteor shower that may get up to 1,000 meteors per hour in the night sky. Now, this meteor shower is called the Tau Hercules meteor shower. It's a meteor shower that it appears to originate from the star Tau Hercules. Now, the parent comet of the Tau Hercules is the periodic comet schwassmann wachmann 3 with a 5.4 year orbit period. Now this meteor shower usually occurs from May 19th through June 19th, peaking around that June 9th date. Now before we get into what SW3 could add to this meteor shower, the Tau Hercules meteor shower was first observed in Koido, Japan in May of 1930. So that's basically when this was discovered and we have a very rare situation that could take place where both of these comets could combine if the situations are just right to produce one of these crazy meteor showers and that is why this has been a huge huge story all over the internet now I've been doing some research as to what we could expect and the reasons why we may see it or may not see it it could be weather related but one way or another we're gonna break this all down and you know what we're doing it right here right now let's go <laughs> my friends it is may 30th 2022 and this happens to be the first day of the two-day event based on weather factors and where you are in the world but may 30th and 31st is when this particular special meteor shower is apparently going to take place now i'm sure a lot of you have heard of the channel dabu7 he does a lot of wonderful research when it comes to basically any serious story going on in the world and he happened to cover this as well so i want to give him a little bit of credit because i want to use some of the wording he used to help describe this situation because it is a bit complicating with the one comet we have with Comet 73P or SW3 and the Tau Hercules Comet. So we're going to do a little bit of reading here just so we can get up to date and understand exactly what's happening here. So on May 30th to the 31st, 2022, we might have a brief but intense meteor display thanks to a comet that split apart in 1995 and is apparently still fragmenting as we speak. It might happen as Earth passes through a particular dense stream of icy particles, which the comet left behind back in 1995, but also in 1897 and 1892. So basically, to sum up that part of it, we are actually passing through this part of the comet's debris tail once again, and if the conditions are right with these icy particles, it could end up being one of the most amazing displays of a meteor shower we could ever see in our lifetime. So once again to finish this off, thank you to Dabu7. If this does happen we will see a grand display of meteors. And even if it doesn't this comet is one that you are going to want to know about because it will be making returns in the future. The meteor shower is the Tau Hercules Walkman 3, also known as SW3. Its parent comet is 73P Schwassmann. Astronomers found this comet back in 1930 as we we said before it orbits the sun every 5.4 years and the comet will be in the evening sky again in july and august of this year it's not one of the brightest comets ever but it's an exceptionally interesting comet in 1995 astronomers watched as this comet began to fracture and litter its orbit with an increasing amount of debris and this is the reason that some experts have come to recent calculations that the may 22 tal hercules meteor shower spawned by s W3 might be one of the most intense displays we ever see. Now again, this is coming from our friends over at NASA, so take that with a grain of salt. I know how some of you feel about that, so I will be leaving some source links for you so you guys can do some of your own research, some Wikipedia links and things like that, because I feel like it's important that we know about this stuff. In fact, I had to use other sources myself just to fully understand how this is actually taking place. So as of right now, my friends, that's what I got for you. This thing is beginning tonight into tomorrow, so if these conditions are right we may be seeing something pretty spectacular if any of you are out there taking pictures or into this astronomy stuff absolutely feel free to send me anything you may capture i will gladly post it on the channel and who knows maybe within the next two days we may be talking about something that no one else in their lifetime has ever seen before my friends i want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video shout out to canada get those cameras ready no matter what happens and i will see you all in the next video take care bye bye stop right there my friends if you have 
not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to it's hit the and bell you icon. All click notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.